Calling all musical beings, all singers, musicians, rappers and tap dancers. Calling poets, podcasters and people that make interesting mouth noises. Fans over followers, collaboration over competition, love over hate. Tell a friend, tell your mama and tell your cousins too. Song Lab Live is back baby. My name is Earl Alex, aka Cav Ticket Pro Prolific. People should know all of those things. Yeah. But I'm here. This is another Song Lab live interview, and we are here with the artist that we didn't get a chance to interview during the Song Lab live event, and he came and performed. Yeah. Yeah. You you showed out while you were while you were here. We had you in the other room. And, and right. you were also able to network and mingle. And I, I'm glad you're here because I'm, I would definitely want you to not only share one year experience then, but then also yeah. on and have a conversation with you about music and collaboration. Of course, yeah. Right. So let me throw it to the other side of the table so you can introduce yourself, let people know your social media, how they can connect with you, and yeah. more about your music. My name is Bart Sanilia. I'm a pop and R&B artist from Phoenix, Arizona. So yeah, just uh, you can catch me at G Bart Sanilia at all my social media handles. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So when you came through to our Song Lab live event, uh, I mean, how was that for you when you first showed up? I, I think the vibe was pretty chill. I felt like everyone had like their things that they were, they were that was going on. Like, you know, I was just actually... I was actually here to support one of my, you know, my big sis, which is just the Empress. You know, that we're really close friends. We've been uh, doing music for a very long time. You no, know, we're we're our own respective artists, but you know, like I said, like we're always supporting each other. If she's having a bad, vice versa. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So, when you came through and you seen all the different artists, yeah, did you see others that you already knew from, you know, circle or that you worked uh, with? Actually, no. There were actually a lot of new people that I haven't seen before. I've seen maybe like I knew Menace and stuff too. Oh, okay. She was friends though, with my big sis. Yeah, like, and I've talked to Bleed. He was <laughs> one of the artists. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, he is an artist. Oh, yeah. He's been yeah. thinking, he's been contemplating a return. So, yeah. I mean, that's possible. But no, it's good. We're going to push him to it. Oh, we yeah. Got, we got some good stuff to get. You got to text him. Bob his text messages be like, hey, bro. Hey, bro. <laughs> it's time. It's time. It's time. <laughs> yeah. You know? Um, so yeah, man. And the collaborative spirit of everything, were you able to get in on one of the songs? Oh no, not at all. Like I felt like, you know, I was just there just to kind of just get a vibe for things. Like I let things happen naturally. Like, you know, if, if it's just not for me, I don't force myself, you know, at all. I mean that the whole point of this is for people to network, collaborate, yeah. get in where they fit in, will it, where it feel right. That's why we wanted to open up the other room that night and, uh, pretty much just allow people to perform and do what they do in there. But pretty much in the larger scheme of doing this music thing, so far, how has it been for you kind of like, I don't know, not only in this space in Arizona, because I do ask people about how they feel about the local scene out here, but how has it been for you branching out and working with artists outside of Arizona? Like, how has collaborating been for you um, so far? collaborating i if you really check my discography I, I don't really like i don't really have much features or things like that i've only worked pretty much with just and 
I just Empress and foreign Dutch, things like that. Because I feel like, you know, for me to really work with somebody, it's mm -hmm. not even on the business matter. It's, I think it's more of a spiritual aspect. I want to really, wow. you know, befriend you and really get a chance to really vibe because you know what I mean. I feel like music is such a very like spiritual, like I feel like experience, especially like it's a vulnerable moment too because you know you get a chance to sit in a room with somebody and really express, you know, I, I'd say like vulnerable moments in your life and trying to find a very common ground between you and that ever you're working with. so that's how it is i felt like with those two you know i've i knew i knew Aretha, i knew foreign dutch when i was like growing up because played ball like you know like in basketball you know, a few years i would see him at the pickup game stuff like that and she and just the empress was you know really good friends too with foreign dutch so you know it, it all came in a full circle and things like that. oh that's awesome i mean in answering your question i felt like the collaborative i would say no, I, I think, you know, I'm starting to branch out a bit, but like I said, I just haven't really. You got to feel right. You got to yeah. be right. Yeah. 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 Have you been approached uh, with offers? All the time. <laughs> not, not all the time. But, you know, like I said, it's, you know, I feel this is just me from my personal experience. I feel like it's very like, uh, like if, if whether if there was an offer made, it's usually kind of like, you know, I expect you to do this for free or things like that. But like I said, like, you know, I'd. I've been really to myself and trying to invest my time and my money into building my my brand and my, my artistry, and to just you know, there's some people like you know like you know the nitty and gritty and stuff. There's some people they just it's just like a take and take, not a yeah. you know a very reciprocal kind of um, interaction or like you know like experience. Yeah, I mean, I I would say that I have seen artists treat getting features, yeah, like getting badges, yeah. Um, they just and all the features and really it's just to kind of boost themselves but then then i have seen some that treat it like it's uh homage yeah you know giving respect so i've seen both sides of that um and really i'm glad we could have you out to that song lab live event because yeah. the whole thing about that is to really kind of facilitate and create a market out here get the artists knowing about each other and working with each other and then if it's not, say, even an artist that you connect, maybe yeah. a producer, maybe a DJ, engineer. maybe an engineer, whatever you need to kind of fill your gaps. Um, so thank you very much for coming out for that. Event. Yeah. Um, you made it better, honestly. Uh, and I've been intrigued ever since then with the music you have been putting out. It has been kind of personal, authentic. It has been inspiring, to say the least. Um, really... Uh, what has been motivating you to put out the recent string of songs? Um, this these batch of music has actually been around for about a couple of years already, and like the music that's been coming out, it's just like I took a hiatus. And I think we spoke over the phone about it that you know, like I took a hiatus because of my friend passing the beginning of last year, and he was um helping me along the way with some of the half of the album, you know what I mean? And so far, the next one that I'm actually working on, but that's pretty. <laughs> wow, wow. yeah no but uh exclusive so this music is all about like you know, if you want to talk about the story it's from you know it talks about like the heartbreaks the relationship that i have previously before and like also losing friends along the way and being taken advantage of and finding my way out and learning to have some self-respect for myself and having standards mm -hmm. and, you know because like i said if you be, if you listen to the beginning of my album checkered skies checkered skies talks about this um you know me at the beginning of that song there's a single called timeless which is the first song which is actually if you li re-listen to it, it's a pop single it's kind of like a pop ballad but it seems very like you know like you know when people are in relationships you always get that like oh i'm head over heels i'm so i'm so in love yeah, and stuff yeah, but yeah. but you forget about you know the the red flags and yeah. things like that you're just head over heels and lose your individuality, yeah, individuality. Yeah. and yeah. the second song fallen you know, it's actually like kind of a metaphor between like I've fallen for you, but it kind of but also fallen in a sense of like, you know, when you hit hit rock bottom. I, I gave up all this stuff for you. You know what I mean? And all of a sudden it's and and moving on from that, it's it, it then the repercussions of me putting myself through, you know, this kind of relationship, a toxic relationship I've been in and album from, you know, short long story short, it's just basically me grew up becoming who I am from you know my you know my challenges like from you know like I said certain 
a former friend, chips, and I finally made it out. You know what I mean? Out on the other side of it, and the album, but different vibes ends it with a more like, hey, like, I'm out. Peace out. This I'm going yeah. on to the next chapter. I, I'm finally, I've finally grown. I think. Yeah. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> you got what you needed from that situation. Yeah. And you're able to then move forward with instead of baggage, you're right. l- instead of luggage, yeah. lessons. No, for sure. Because I feel like, you know, I used to be the type of person to kind of question things and realize the fact that God would have put you through something that you weren't ready for. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I've always learned to just stop. Um, you know, like, what am I learning from this? Because if not, if I'm going to just sit there and wallow and things like that, you're just going to make it harder for yourself to try to realize, like, what is the lesson? Or else so. that's like replaying the same episode you're gonna get the same thing you yeah. should know the punchline but yeah right <laughs> <laughs> really yeah. so i mean but that's that's great like we are also trying to educate artists in how music and really what they need to know in this music business to make it so that they can start generating off of things yeah. that they're so passionate about um how is the business side of things been huge so you're, you're putting out your music now right and waited, you know, how is it getting into the paperwork and, and, and my condolences to what happened to inspire, yeah. um, some of the music, you know, how, you know, you know, separating out then the passion, how's it been getting to the, Oh, like when you're talking about like the business side of things, Oh no, I think it's just about networking. Honestly, I feel like the issue with a lot of people that are too focused on trying to get them first and then realize the fact that it's, you know, like me, like I just happened to make money from it because i don't know i just i stayed consistent i knew what sound like the the sound i wanted to create and i continued to push you know it took years of work it wasn't one of those things that overnight success kind of things like that you know? i just wanted at the end of the day like this is an investment like it's a, like but i want to start off creating a foundation for myself through my music by being genuine and to create something what people want to hear and things like that i feel like being genuine to the you know being genuine and being Know, down to earth you know especially with the nitty and gritty and stuff people yeah. will relate a lot more and you will and you will start creating um a connection with you and your audience at a more genuine level than to just be like i mean if i, I can all do that all day yeah. you know especially with like you know my experience like my mirror song you know, i had like the tiktok dance challenges and things like that that helped you know quite a bit but i felt like that was still a surface level you know as an artist and even though that is my most pretty much popular track out of yeah. my stuff it was just like it's and it's still running like like thousands and multi thousands every single <laughs> like week nice. you know what i mean by itself without having to do anything right. yeah, it's it's kind of that's beautiful but i wanted to take a step back and i felt like especially with what i was going through with my friend you know with grieving and stuff i was like there's more to this like i feel like i have i'm full of you know of experiences i want to speak about i felt like ever since then that's what got me back to loving my music again because this past two years i i felt like i don't know how to get back when i when i lost my friend i didn't know how to write anymore. like i forgot how to write like i was like sitting there like you know being in a studio without him sitting there anymore, just it was so like painful you know what i mean like i, I couldn't like you know making melodies and writing music just takes me like like i said it depends on the song but like i said it was just it would take me weeks to even write a line you know, and I was like, wow, like, and I feel, you know, you know, like a little, I would say foreshadowing is that, you know, the next year, a couple of years, because right now I'm releasing two to three years batch of music that's been sitting around, nice. you know, so I'm, I'm fine for a while, but I, I, but I want whatever the next couple albums after that to be just really something that I felt like Checkered Scott, you know, right now. So that's awesome. I mean, I really think that, you know, hearing what you have your batch that you're releasing to the public um has been truly inspiring to me like when i listen to it i just like like i said i like it, it touches me too and then when i see your passion and when you sing and when you when you uh, are sharing your story i mean yeah. i just i like the experience so i like music that's experiential i just music to play oh yeah so yeah that's why i like it so tell them about your 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 recent effort let them know where they can find it. Let them know how they can connect with it. Right. Just, I, I just want to hear so we have that. Okay, of course. No, um, you can find it at YouTube. Um, I have a link tree on my Instagram, and like it's it's all over the place on my social media handles. 
Like, if you want to watch all the music videos, of course, it's on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, everything. It's all there on the all you know, available streaming platforms. Yeah, I'm always posting about it on Instagram, <laughs> the yeah. stories. I just find it on Facebook, everywhere. Awesome. Uh, check out my man. I'm telling you, it's good stuff. So, now, that is, for one, an incredible journey. And that's great motivation to continue on and there's still more in you and you're yeah. doing more and you're working yeah. on the actual next five years versus yeah. you know working off a right. music, cat music catalog that you already have a backlog and you're working on the future which is awesome so i think for one people uh, to take note and, yeah. and 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 this is the artist you should be listening for looking for <laughs> listening to and investing in because definitely he's investing in in yeah. himself and it shows so i would like to get your opinion on the state of artists trying to be in your position right now that have kind of a good flow as you because right now it seems like you're in a good flow yeah and you're moving into the next so you understand from where you've been okay you know just starting what would you give artists that are looking to kind of have the same type of you know same type of flow around synergy i think it it's like we want to create synergy with the people around us and and with the things that we're creating and getting out our our uh creative works to the world and that's a hard thing to do you know so how 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 did you like what would what advice would you give and how how actually explain expound upon how did you build then not only your team but how did you build what you have going on um, when it comes to like my, you know, my videographers and things like that, I think it just went through um, just really living my life and continuing to like, I feel like when it comes to building a team, you do have to put in the work yourself, especially like, you know, 100. Yeah, because the biggest thing is that people expect like other people to figure it out for them. Because I, mean, I think a lot of the mistakes that I see from people that are wanting to break out, because they like to ask me questions. Like, there's people like how... Like, I want to be where you're at or, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you know, just like little questions like that. You know, yeah. I feel like everybody's journey is a little bit different, but I think the foundation is that I think that's not my job to tell you. that. Right? It's not my job to tell you, like, what kind of music should I make? You know, I mean, I, I think there's a lot of people that whether they're MCs to, you know, R&B singers and you know, pop artists, you know, I just told them just want to write about like, I don't I don't know your story. I know that the, when the people come come out to ask me these questions it's like you i can't tell you who you are you you right. tell me they do tell me that and i think the biggest thing too is if they want to start get started i think that that's a life journey right there. i feel like that's growing i mean i remember when i first started making music i i took down a lot of my old catalog a long time ago like you know i yeah, actually had an album before but i was just like this is not what i want to you know i would say project or try to i would say you know this just feels like i'm trying to write music for that of like for myself and that's why i felt like this album meant so much to me you know because it was it came from a place like this is who i am this is my story and i'm going to continue forward from that you know going back you know that that tying that all in is like if they're going to create music be true to yourself you know i feel like people just want to create a facade because they're they're afraid to show who they really are as people wow. people I agree you know people are like I, i'm scared like what people might think if i don't try to appease that you know you can't please everybody you know what i mean yeah and like i said if i think that also builds confidence if you do show you know your genuine self to people you know because if if you're trying to hide a facade and stuff what happens when the facade is gone like yeah. people really see who you are it's like oh you know, like you and at the same time it eats you inside you know that you're lying to people you know creating music that's just not who you are so i would 100 percent agree because i did that and i'm about to start removing some songs on my head <laughs> like i did that 100 percent. i took a little hiatus myself a little it was like five years uh -huh. took a hiatus yeah so i understand exactly what you're saying and that's why i ask you these questions and i kind of framed it in that way a little bit uh, what i would say verbose <laughs> because um i understand it's definitely it isn't for each artist to try to define another yeah but sometimes we have those little tidbits of knowledge that we keep along the way that we think eh, maybe I sh if i could pass this to my beginning self right yeah. if i could if i could store that 
in another maybe young up and coming artist. So uh-huh. it's like, you know, I I, I uh, spoke to a uh, uh, young boot, yeah. and I was telling them, hey man, LLC, get all that yeah. going, learn Web three, you know, get get like a domain name that you know you're gonna own forever, and yeah. you know, really dive into stuff, you know, get into this new stuff. And he was, you know, he's smart. He already on this stuff, and he getting yeah, yeah. getting guided and all that. So, I mean, like not guided, but he's getting he's around good people. Yeah. So there's 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 there are those tips that we want to share so as a collaborative uh song lab definitely try is trying to capture those things up. so thank you for that like for sure. there you dropped some jewels there for sure yeah. people need to kind of go with it make a commitment i think yeah. in their artistry and go with it and then you know and i think i think an- another mistake a lot of artists think too i've seen this lots and lots of times is that people have some sort of ego thinking that if they put something that they expect to hear it yeah. what they need to do is that you need to market yourself and push put let people know word of mouth is very powerful you know what i mean i feel like a lot of artists like don't have this thing there like i've seen it a lot it's like oh like i know i'm hot things like that why aren't people listening to me it's like that's like a very high sense of entitlement from yeah. some of the artists that have it like to me like you got to stay humble in this kind of industry because you know it's a lot of these people that you do see where you who you like like you know inspirations in their artistry that's like is this wasn't one of those that they just woke up and that's it. Yeah. And it's like they were passing out CDs back then. Letting, like, you wouldn't have... Some are still passing out yeah, CDs yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> this is a very, very opportune time, I feel, mm-hmm. for artists to really get the, those out. You know, but I feel like people aren't utilizing their tools like social media or, yeah. you know, letting people know. Like, you got to message people individually if you got to do that. that. You know what I mean? And, like, um, that's how it is. There is no shame in the game getting your music heard yeah for one getting it heard but also in getting it in the hands of the people who are going to support you yeah so do what you got to do don't sit on it. right because people are pretty busy with their own lives too like you know like you gotta sometimes you gotta knock on people's front doors and be like hey i got a song like and it's like oh that's cool that now if people do bite when it comes to that like let's say you just gained a new supporter that actually cares about your stuff then you know like so be it and all it took was like hey how's it going like um Check it out. Uh, and also, like, building relationships with, you know, your supporters and people, too. Because, like, you know, they'll come out. Yeah. You know? Awesome. So, awesome. So. Now, that, how's the show's been? Have yeah. you been doing shows? I'm about to do a festival, a headlining performance next month for a Filipino festival up in, um, around Mesa. So, it's called the Kamayan Festival. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say, yeah. tell us more. Yeah, it's around October 8th. You know, I'm really excited. You know, it's, you know, I've been, like I said, I've been in a hiatus for such, for a couple of years and I'm, mm. I'm really excited for this one. You know? Like, you know, I got to perform a lot, you know, some of my new singles from the album. And of course, you know, you know, got that. Now, is that, uh, what, what day is that? Is that a Saturday? I'm pretty sure that's a Saturday. Oh, okay. that would awesome. make sense. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. Okay. Let me know. Oh yeah, you try to slide. Out. Let me know. <laughs> I'm just saying, I, I, let me try to slide man. out. <laughs> let me know. I mean, you know, I just want to see what it's looking like out there. Yeah, I'm <laughs> so. Uh-oh. Now that'll be awesome, for real. Um, so yeah. Uh, speaking about that, what is coming up for next release? I I do want to know what you're doing next. Oh no. Um, you know, getting a uh, word from you know, I would say important individuals in my life and having some, you know feedback on my album people are like hey i like that song fallen you got some r&b music coming out and little did they know i on my back catalog like i've been uh, before my friend passed we've been working on an r and like just singles like you know i felt that i felt i resonated with a lot and i feel like my next batch of music is like arm awesome. r&b awesome because my album is like very pop and r&b but if you're talking about like that Summer Walker style music to like, I would say Give on to like, you know, things like that. I, I love R&B music. Oh, wow. Give, it, it, I feel like my next batch of music, lyric, lyrically, gives an early 2000 vibe, like, yeah. feel to it. I love it. A modern. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no. You already had me. No, because I felt like, you know, <laughs> my music, I really want to, um, you know, appreciate women, you know, like yeah. their music too, because in my... Let's my, bring it it, too. Yeah, no, that's why I'm saying it, bro. Like, I love music like Brian McNoss. Like, yeah, you know, yes. like really just yeah. you know, I'm that yeah, guy. You know, like man. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you no, know, you know, I wanted music like that. I I grew up, you know, 
having a lot of friends that were women and, you know, hearing stories from them. And I, you know, I have a, a, two loving parents and I, I, I would oh, want that for myself yeah. and for my, you know, my future kids one day just to, you know, respect our women in our life and stuff. So I think bringing respect back for women into music, like especially into R&B, like it's yeah. weird. Yeah, to, I thought it was weird how R and B totally flipped yeah. to the whole other side. It's real demon time. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, uh, but I still appreciate it. Yeah. I think that music has its place. I just want to hear some more. Oh no, I, appreciation and love. You know? No, you you're gonna get you got more than appreciation and love. You're gonna be like, oh yeah. <laughs> I, so I make me feel like I'm loving a. Loving a woman that I haven't met yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, know what I'm saying? Like, I, I see the woman in my mind. And it's like, he make me feel like I'm ready in a relationship. <laughs> yeah, you know? I'm, I'm connected. <laughs> yeah. you know? nah. But no, honestly, that's that's wonderful and that's great. And I'm excited for it. Yeah. Definitely keep us in the loop and keep us tagged. But then also, how has it been doing those duets? Uh, with like, uh, yeah, on TikTok. All like, TikToks and stuff. Oh, it's pretty dope. Well, honestly, like me and my dad, me and my pops, just like, hey, like growing up, I was I was tone deaf. So I didn't know how to like any sense of music. Like I was just like, but I always saw my my father, my aunts, you know, and I'm Filipino too. So they always had karaoke parties like every weekend because there's always food, family. You know, I grew up in a very fam family oriented. Uh, I would say like a, I would say a, a household, right? Yeah, yeah. So when I saw my pop sing a lot of the songs that you know, a couple of the songs that we've done, you know, on the TikToks and stuff was something that uh we used to sing growing up. And I used okay. to watch them. So I was like, maybe I can give it a go. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But no, I, I appreciate my friends. They're very, very talented individuals and stuff too. Like whether, whether it's my friend Dre, so my friend Braham, like, you know, many more that would probably want to come along and stuff like that. Right now, like, you know, I just want to just stick with my pops on the TikTok duets or, you know, some solos on my way too. Cause like right now I'm trying to get ready for this festival performance. And also, uh, I would say I, my new single too so because i also edit my own music videos oh nice that's awesome so i do almost everything myself so. man that's yeah. crazy and the music video that i seen most recently the one we're yeah. in the water yeah the, the visual style of it yeah thank you i appreciate that i like it. yeah i watched it <laughs> so what did you get out of it let me ask you that question like, what did i get out of it honestly yeah. i was touched by like it felt it just felt real to me what what you were singing um so much so i was really stunned by the visual aspect of it, like how how it all looked like right. the reflections off the water you in there and the yeah. different scenes and i was kind of really taken back by the production quality and that's yeah. really what always stuns me yeah so i'm not gonna lie i was studying the fuck out of it while i was looking yeah. at it i was being the nerd me yeah more than anything than right actually following or the lyrics of the song so i was also following or the melody and the song itself as right. far as just engaging in the feeling of it. so yeah. i would i first seen it on instagram because you you shared a, a clip of it on instagram right. and i had to look yeah face yeah and that's where i <laughs> seen it. and then i was like oh man this is awesome yeah. so then i'm i'm studying it and i just i don't know it, it felt colorful magical and like just what i i don't know it was like what i not what i felt more familiar because it's like the music that i like like i list i like list like you were you mentioned some of the artists joe yeah uh um carl thomas is another one that i used to heavy but then you know yeah uh, uh john b i mean we, yeah, yeah, yeah of course so i just was in that feeling of anything and then what i do is i replay things and then i catch lyrics as i yeah. go so that's how i yeah, really consume music more than anything so I just felt good listening to it yeah, in all honesty that's i appreciate that, that you took the time to listen to it and also study it too because <laughs> like you know when it came to that song and i had other singles i could have chosen as a lead single for a music video but i felt i wanted to rock with that because if you listen to the album it just shows how far i've grown out of that whole mindset of like i'm i'm so deep in love into and like just ignoring red flags and things like that and realize the fact that I, even though that, you know, even like if you saw the symbolism in the music video, like with me drowning, yeah. I was drowning in a relationship. Yeah. You know, yeah. the water represented this body, like the experiences I've had with this person. And I felt like in keeping my face above water, that's what it felt like. I was trying to get out, like 
I'm trying my best to get out of it. And if you saw the sunset beaches and things like that, like it represented paradise. I finally made out. I finally made it out. And that's that's why that was more near towards the end. Yeah. Like, you know, like sliced them. Yeah, I sliced them in a way that it's just like, oh, why is he drowning? And the color in the color was a lot different too. It was a darker theme while the other one was very fruitful, like very yeah. colorful. And, and I like that contrast. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Like, oh, Zack Snyder, he don't leave it. <laughs> going in oh, now yeah. and put the production, though. No, nah, for sure. I chose as the lead single because I felt like when it came to that song, you know, like, I had, like, a few choice of words in the single to talk about the specific person, but, you know, also at the same time, you know, how could I forget you? Because, like, you know, like, I wouldn't be here moving on with my life with my other significant other now, you know, like, yeah. moving on. So, yeah. Definitely, man. Well, I mean, that just shows growth, I think, everything you're doing right now you are still growing and have much to give and so that's wonderful what are your aspirations moving forward what are you looking forward to do next or give me one thing you're looking forward to do next and one wish in the next five years i do i i, I do want to see myself perform at the grammys one day and um, that is one that i do see myself i know that it's going to take a lot of hard work at effort also at the same time uh what was the other question one well i said one wish in the five years that might be the grammy yeah but what are you looking forward to most in the near i would say just continuing to grow i know that's very like a cliche answer but i feel i feel like i i just feel like every single day it's just an opportunity to learn something i agree and i mean and that that gives me an opportunity to, to express myself and create something you know, I know like even experiences that I've had with people writing to me like paragraphs of saying thank you. Like my, my like even when they listen to the album, like I had something past. I and when they listen to the song Wings, you know, and other songs like I just got out of a relationship. You know, like it just felt it's very real to them yeah. because it's like things that people actually go through: breakups, heartbreaks, losing friends, losing people, passing away. It's just life. Yeah, you know, and that that's that's how i see myself growing is continuing to live my life so i can also express it on a paper and yeah, that's awesome hey thank you for that for one thank you for your time here thank you for finally allowing us to showcase you as an artist and honestly i want to get you back to the next song lab we gotta find a way to get you on a song we gotta find a way to get you to collab with with at least something that we do. We also work with going to other studios. So if you're doing a project, pull up and do an interview with yeah. what you're doing there to maybe showcase either the studio or your right. project. So keep us in the loop and we can be a part of you know, the next things that you do. Yeah. And definitely share with me that show so I can. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, awesome. Hey, thank you very much for your time. Again, this is Song Lab Live, another interview we are just meeting dope artists and you need to connect with them and their music. Can I get you to go ahead and can I get you to nah, keep going, but let me get you to go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get you to go ahead and shout out all of your social medias and then again where they can find your music. And then go ahead and shout out Song Lab for me. If of course. You, know you guys can catch me at G Barcinella and all my social media handles. You can find me in all streaming platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, at, with my artist named Barcinella. And shout out to Saw Lab Live. So let's get it. Thank you. That's what it is. Peace.